For those who have never operated a camcorder before, don't be afraid. At first glance, it may look very technical with all the buttons and switches. With just a few tips though, camcorders can be very simple and fun to use. Though we do guide you through the basics, you may want to refer to your camcorder's user guide for specific instructions. Most new camcorders come with a battery that is only slightly charged. You need to fully charge the battery before using it for the first time. After your battery is fully charged, you can attach it to the camcorder. Now, it's important for you to remove your battery from your camcorder when it's not in use. This will not only improve the life of your camcorder, but your battery's life as well. The battery will lose power even when not in use, so check it about once a month. Remember, if you don't have a charged battery, you won't be able to capture those memories. Most all consumer camcorders have an on-off multi-switch that not only turns your camera on or off, but also switches it from record mode to playback mode so you can watch what you've just recorded. To record, depending on your camcorder, you'll want to set the switch to record camera, M for manual, A for auto, or some type of camera icon. Some camcorders combine the multi-switch with the mode selection switch. To watch what you've recorded, again, this depends on your camcorder, you'll want to set the switch to play, VCR, player, or some kind of playback icon. Your camcorder lens is the most delicate and one of the most important parts of your camcorder. If it gets dirty, it won't take good video, especially on a sunny day. If it gets scratched or cracked, you might as well get a new camcorder. Now if the lens cap isn't built in or attached to the camcorder with a string, keep it handy and replace it as soon as you finish recording. Also, if you've turned the camcorder to the record position and you can't see anything, check to make sure that you've removed the lens cap. This mistake is made more often than you might think. All consumer camcorders have an LCD flip-out screen or viewfinder. Most have both. You'll probably prefer to use the LCD screen, but in some cases, you'll need to use the viewfinder. On very bright days, you may not be able to see the LCD screen. Also, it may be easier to manually focus using the viewfinder. The LCD screen will always be found on the left side of the camcorder while holding it. This is because the majority of people are right-handed. Once open, the LCD screen can be flipped over to allow you to record yourself or so that your subject can see what they look like on the camcorder. Once turned around, the screen door can be closed so that the screen is facing out. This will allow you to sit or stand next to the camcorder while attached to a tripod and allow you to monitor what is being recorded. The LCD screen and viewfinder on your camcorder should show most of the same information. This may include, but not limited to, how much power you have left on the battery, how many minutes you have recorded, how many more minutes you can record, tape speed, whether the camcorder is recording, and whether the camcorder is set to manual or auto. This screen may look a little confusing at first, but if it isn't explained here, you can always refer to your user manual. Some camcorders have a built-in light which will give you enough light to record a subject that is fairly close to the camcorder. If your camcorder does not have a light, it should have a shoe on top which will allow you to attach a light securely. Your remote control buttons usually include record or start stop, zoom control, playback buttons similar to VCR DVD players, and controls for the menu. Not only will this allow you to record from a distance, but also operate the playback features on your camcorder while connected to a TV. Check the literature or ask your sales associate to make sure your camcorder comes with a remote. 